Christmas. So just hours ago, Lakeland City Commissioners voted on a major transportation decision that could impact the city's appearance and traffic flow for years to come. Yeah, and their decision didn't come without some strong opinions. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser has more now on the city's Dixieland Road Project along Florida Avenue. For the past two years, Lakeland has been experimenting with what it calls a road diet, trimming Florida Avenue between Ariana and Lime Streets to just three lanes rather than four expanded concrete curbs and striping to slow traffic, reduce accidents, and encourage more people to walk and bike through the area to benefit local businesses. So this is part of a larger comprehensive effort to move people around Lakeland and not just not just cars. Today, Lakeland City Commissioners faced a decision of whether to make the road diet permanent and authorize FDOT to get the ball rolling on even more enhancements. The alternative is that we would be paying for it all ourselves. But if there are things we can do to speed that up, then, then I think that will help with perception long term. City leaders heard from staff members who showed them statistics. Traffic flow has slowed and accidents, especially serious ones, are down. Some people said they support the concept. My wife and I, we want convenient, varied, interesting, pleasant shopping near our home. But the majority urged the city to get back to the wider roads it used to have, citing more traffic now pushed onto their nearby residential roads. Go back to four lanes. It made sense. Pedestrian traffic in Dixieland is non-existent, and you're trying to maybe create that. You're going to end up changing it back anyway. I promise you. Despite that prediction, city leaders accepted staff's recommendation. It passes. Voting 4-1 to authorize FDOT to move forward with a more elaborate, permanent three-lane plan. In all, the project could take up to 10 years to complete, but it could also change the look of Lakeland for decades to come. In Lakeland, Eric Glasser, 10 Tampa Bay. Commissioners have also recommended staff looking into spending money on beautification projects and perhaps installing speed bumps in surrounding areas. They hope that will encourage traffic to stay on Florida Avenue rather than detouring through surrounding residential neighborhoods.